Sorry, it was a long line at the cafeteria. I mean, God, it's only a cup of coffee. You know, how, how difficult can it really be to act responsible when you... Well, anyway, where were we? Um, we were talking about your friend, right? What was his... Name again? <sighs> so, Noah, your friend Cassius, tell me about him. <laughs> oh, and, and pray tell, where would you like me to start? The beginning? It doesn't matter, whatever you like. <sighs> Cass. <laughs> We've known each other since preschool, and yet we don't really know each other. <laughs> well, hey! His parents and everybody from our neighborhood are the kind of people who always wears fancy clothes and tailored suits for casual dinners. Cass's father owns this huge internet company and is now filthy rich. So, why aren't you out toasting a happy couple and uh, giving a speech, party boy? I'm not sure entirely that they ever talk. Um. I'm, uh, I'm just finishing up here. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> Seriously, are you drawing buildings again? You know, it's crazy that Nick is getting married. Sure, she's hot and all, but, but still, come on. Nick was in our group, with the suits. He was always the ladies' man, and now he's getting married. You know, married to a model. Women like her, they have the hottest friends, and they are all fucking here. <laughs> I knew exactly what Kev's gonna say uh, next. Uh, you know, I only have my eye on. I think she works in a, a fashion magazine or something like that, but she's always on the hunt for uh, people with a touch of style. So, you know I can tap that. <laughs> and uh, how many people's at this, uh, this shindig anyhow? Uh, I think about 200. Okay, so small get together, you know. Cheers to the happy couple. Why are you working and not just enjoying your friend's wedding? I just do... You... My father used to say that if you wanted to change society, you, you have to do it by setting a good example. So that is what you see as a good example? Working instead of being at your friend's wedding? Weddings aren't really my thing. I don't enjoy them. They can be nice enough, but this one just had bad timing. I had a meeting with a client and... Uh, he was interested in some of my older drawings. They needed several corrections before I could sell them. I was well aware that he could call me any minute. So, here you are. You know it, right? Yeah. I'm sitting. Not a man of many words, huh? <laughs> it, it depends. <laughs> they only really called me to tell me that they'd gotten a better offer and that... Um, and, and this made you angry? No. Uh, small stuff like that doesn't make me angry. But you were angry at that moment. No, just not because I, the client withdrew their offer. No. I don't get angry over trifles like that. A little bit annoyed, maybe, yeah, sure. But nothing close to what you would describe as anger. So, so, so. so you were um, disappointed in yourself? No. This incident has nothing to do with me. Oh, so okay. something that does disappoint me now that you bring it up? is that people in this world, people like you, you have no sense of morality, of how to behave. All everybody ever does is sin. They all sin, they never do anything for the greater good. People only think of themselves. I don't get angry about trifles or losing a small time job. 
But when nobody does anything, anything at all, then, then I fucking get angry! Oh, so this is where you're hiding. <laughs> you're not alone, I see. Flirting? Uh, so, uh, the, the party's a uh, fashion expert. Uh, uh, how am I doing? Fine. Ooh, you hear that, Noah? You're doing fine. <laughs> um, uh, Excuse me. Get away! You whore! You fucking whore! Come back here! I think we got very far today, and you did well. Oh, uh, we'll meet again next week, same place, same time. Anyway, uh, here's all you. Ah!